My name is Hugo Gomez, and I live in the East Bay, Contra Costa County, in the city of Concord. When the 2020 pandemic hit, I was in the process of helping my daughter with her final year of high school, getting all the plans done for her graduation, for her prom, and whatnot, and working uh, at a biotech company I had recently gotten hired. My first introduction to COVID was videos, of course, online, YouTube seeing a gentleman in China kill over, basically. It was unreal. It was scary. When the eminent thought or concern or the eminent um, suggestion that we shut down was announced, we were perplexed. This can't be happening. We're in a pandemic. They're going to shut everything down. It almost felt akin to the world, um, the world Trade Towers when they got struck and Everything stopped, no airplane, airplane travel. It kind of felt a little like that, but a hundred times more intense. I was very apprehensive, like knowing that I had a uh, history of asthma in the past and knowing that it affects your respiratory tract. It was very concerning. It was scary. I was a logistics technician. We were moving from one small building and consolidating two other facilities into one new headquarters in South San Francisco. So it was really busy, really hectic. The people that were on site were conducting science and they needed to keep their science going. So my job at the time, after we transitioned from one building to the other, our job was to make sure that <clears throat> the entire facility was disinfected and cleaned. Everything had to do with COVID, getting the masks, getting the sanitizer. Everything was related to keeping everything clean and sterile and hygienically secure for the staff. I was grateful to actually be employed and in a position where it was considered essential. I have a lot of friends that were laid off uh, in different positions, different fields. There was just everything came to a halt. Uh, but I'll have a side business. Everybody has to have a side hustle nowadays to survive. And I have a mobile DJ business. I play music at weddings, company parties, birthday parties. And my business went from this to this overnight. Cancellations left and right, postponements. My 2020 calendar was shot. My finances took a major hit. During the pandemic, I actually had my second bout, second flare up of an autoimmune condition that's really rare. It's a condition called pemphigus vulgaris. I had to make sure, extra sure, that everything was clean and everything was sterile. I was wearing a proper attire, proper PPE, make sure I wasn't getting infected. Um, but this condition, it's it's horrible. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Your skin cells basically don't bind. Um, so if you have a little boil or a blister, it doesn't heal. And it's a terrible, terrible, terrible condition. It's almost like having second degree burns that don't heal. Very painful. I would wear a head wrap so nobody would see the nasty, zombie-ish looking sores that I had on my head. But it was indeed scary. Um, a scary time in my life, having to uh, be exposed or around people that are being um, diagnosed with COVID positive results. You look at the positions that people have, such as janitorial, uh, working in a kitchen, things of that nature as being oh, labor, okay, they just work there, no big deal. But you, when this occurred, you saw how essential these people in these positions are. And being titled essential was an accurate term. It was very important that these people be recognized and taken care of appropriately for the position and for the essentiality that they provide to this nation. Being able to work with my condition and being there on time, all the time, they decided to get me on as an FTE, so I'm now a full-time employee at this company. My DJ company has gotten, gotten a big kick now. I've got events, whereas normally I wouldn't get a wedding on a Tuesday, I'm now doing weddings on Tuesdays and Thursdays. People are making up, catching up lost time. When they had to move their events from Saturdays, they had to take any available date that's currently available now on the calendar. So yeah, my the DJ business has picked up dramatically, and I'm grateful for that tremendously. I'm doing events on days that normally wouldn't 
have, I wouldn't normally have events on Tuesday night, Thursday night. I think it's because people miss the camaraderie and being able to go out that they are doing events more so just to do events, just to be a lot around people. The biggest thing I've learned is to be grateful for every day that you're alive. Every day you wake up, it's a blessing. If somebody is in a position or in a career that you don't see as important, reevaluate your position. Because these people that are on the ground doing the work that you see as menial run this country. Without them, it'd be a lost society.